duck station support for the PlayStation, Sega Saturn, better support for the Raspberry Pi, PlayStation 2 support for the PC, new CRT support, latest and greatest cores, performance increases, Raspberry Pi Zero 2 support, and much, much more in this update. Let's check it out. Hey, 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 Recall Box releasing the 8.0 Electron Beta build. And whether you're into the Raspberry Pi or PC gaming on Recall Box, there's some really cool updates for you here. They do a little, you know, long introduction here, but let's actually look at all the different things uh, that it's included. I'll get to the installation in a moment, but first of all, the big deal here is add CRT televisions and CRT monitor support. So you can get an adapter, the, the, the SCART or the VGA adapter, to then go to your old school CRT TV. And then they actually have within the uh, software, you have ways to match the Hertz and, and the specific TV you're using. So you can get as close to, probably not as good as some other solutions out there, but um, you know, using the Raspberry Pi, a better, more genuine CRT experience. So that's pretty cool. If you're into that, you're into the old school CRT look, you know, especially with these 8-bit, 16-bit, games you know this could be really cool to see um on top of that next key feature playstation 2 support on the pc using uh pc sx2 so um you know playstation 2 will not run on the raspberry pi it's just too uh intense of a system but uh for those of you who don't know you can absolutely install recall box on a pc and now with that playstation 2 support you can play simpsons hit and run all those great classic playstation 2 games huge library of games to play Raspberry Pi 4 people, here's the announcement here. Um, you know, just the uh, the Sega Saturn emulator is, uh, you know, freshly installed, you know, latest version, as well as um, the frame skipping is automatically enabled. So you should expect decent performance, not great, but decent performance off the bat. Number two, and they added the key features. They also added DMG support as well if you're doing the Pi Boy. But also on top of that, Raspberry Pi Zero 2 support. Pi Zero 2, not the 1, 2. So Raspberry Pi 1 and 2 support for the DMG. And then the Raspberry Pi Zero 2 support, whether you're using it on a portable device or on a big screen, you can now use it. This is really cool. This is a cool one. I've done a video on DuckStation 4. Really solid playstation emulator with a lot of like upscaling abilities and and resolution changes and and like little performance enhancers and 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 smoothing effects you can add that is uh now available to you um oh i didn't look at that it even gives you a compatibility list of duck station now so raspberry pi 3 4 and 400 the odroid and computers running 64 bit all right, and then uh, now recall box default overlays for all systems. What does that look like? Let's see really quick. Okay, so Mega Drive overlay. So you get like the system overlays are pre-installed, it sounds like. Also called bezels. So you could do uh, widescreen. You could do without a bezel with the overlay. Okay. Um, and then they also, you can click on, I'll put a link to all this. You can click on this and you can scroll down and it tells you like how to turn them on and off different ways of doing it but it's fairly simple um new systems new atari standalone emulator new coleco vision libretto core um you know i don't play a lot of these systems but for those of you you know that might be cool for you new widescreen support on mega drive so if you like uh playing widescreen games that could be kind of cool uh, atari uh core for the uh pi zero and raspberry pi one um adding controls of various raspberry pi fan controllers that's cool so you can you know modulate your fan whether higher or lower and then here's just a few others i'm just going to put them on the screen here you know latest and greatest you know you constantly need to update these cores as as new updates get thrown out so you're going to get the latest and greatest there uh and then fixes fixed performance issue raspberry one one and zero uh fixed controller behavior in the wii and uh in the dolphin emulator so wii and gamecube Fixed message failed to set last used disk. Okay, so if you're running disk. Fixed laggy video playbook playback on the Odroid XU4. Great, great little single board computer right there. Some bugs with the Raspberry Pi Zero and One on, on PlayStation. Are you guys playing PlayStation games on the Raspberry Pi Zero and One? I guess you can, but uh, I'd go 3B plus or 4 on that. So, and then installation. You cannot just go to the... Um, 
to the main screen here you can see kind of the main screen the overlays here when you hit start on your controller it's going to look something like this right here and there's a um there's a uh, updates tab so you can't do that you can't do the really easy way you either got to do a fresh install go to the download page here and then download it and start a new image from the using the beta over here on the right or you have to um you know, add, uh, put your SD card in your computer, open the config file and modify it. Or you can modify it through uh, terminal as well. But, um, you know, a little bit more advanced there. The easiest is just to um, download this. And then eventually this will roll out. It will no longer be a beta. And you literally could just, it's a click of a button as long as your Pi is uh, connected to the internet or PC. Remember, you can run this on a PC as well. All right, so here we are, footage uh, uh, from Dar's Zone. He made a video on this, was checking out his. Uh, as you see there in the system settings, you can see you're on the beta. If you go to system settings, it tells you what your current version of recall box is. So if you want to check what version you're on, hit start on your controller in your recall box, and you can see what you're currently on. You can't hit that update button, like I said, yet. At least that's what they said that you couldn't do in the... Um, on the website. So here's that recall box CRT in advanced settings. And you go into here and you have different CRT systems as well as ability to change the menu resolution. Um, and then you'd want the adapter as well to gift, you know, fully utilize this, um, you know, that new, new ability. Um, and then here are the different systems you got, you can use, you can use the VGA 666 or the other two there. Um, you know, a lot of these settings and, and, and things in the control are, have are very similar. You can see some of the new, um, uh, emulator cores that we talked about earlier. And just note that recall box is still so simple. You just hit start on your controller and here you go. It's not like RetroPie where you have to go to options and there's all sorts of menus and the menu system's all clunky. It's definitely, it's very, very smooth. So here you go, showing off those overlays. Here's an Atari overlay for the Pico system. Uh, next is the Commodore 64. And then uh, here's a widescreen game. I believe this is a Beats of Rage game. Looking really good, right? Like really nice. I mean, I think it looked pretty good before all this, but it still looks good. Now here we are, we're, we're changing from the default PlayStation rearmed emulator to Duck Station. And so you'll know you're in Duck Station because the game will load up. Uh, you'll have a little loading screen that says Duck Station. You'll see in a second here. And uh, there you go. And there's just going to be a ton more settings when you go to, when you hit, you know, the, the menu on, on whether it's your, your, it might be like select an X or select an R1 or R2. And uh, you're going to get all sorts of settings for your uh, PlayStation games here. And you're, so there you go. First off, here's your main menu. But then even within this main menu, you can go into RetroArch and then you can change different uh, settings here. You can also change different advanced settings within Duck Station uh, as well, like there's different there's different uh, polygon smoothing, all sorts of things that I mentioned before. And uh, here you go, you got the overlay you're showing off. You're showing off some really you know good performance, no frame drops here, running really good, but also you know some smoothing going on. It's looking it's looking pretty good for a Raspberry Pi. For a Raspberry Pi, it's looking pretty good. And then here you go, Sega Saturn. Um, a little bit of lag, but not as bad as it could be and has been. Um, you know this game still could use some better performance but uh so don't get your hopes too too far up for this once you get going there you go anyways that's it for these updates let me know what you all think pretty cool love the development uh thumbs up all around don't forget to like subscribe catch you on the next one